We could not be more proud of Dr. Cavazos and the recognition that he received. I can tell you that when I first came here and was making a decision of whether I was going to, oh, I guess they were making a decision on me. I was making a decision on them. I met with Dr. Cavazos and I saw a glimpse of him, right, because we just met for a short period of time. And I could see the innovative mind that he has and the passion that he has for the, for the students of the Arlington Independent School District and the vision that he had for the district. And in that period of time, he sold me. Hopefully, I sold him uh, as well. And I'm pleased to say that while being here for the last seven months, all the impressions I had in that first meeting have been proven. And I couldn't be more proud to work with him. I couldn't be more proud for the chamber and the Arlington Independent School District to work together on, on many programs. We've had significant success together. And I think taking this evening and making sure that we thank him, and I know he's had many, many opportunities to, have, to, be, to be thanked uh, and to be congratulated for this great success that he's had. I'm happy that we have this evening um, tonight. Thank you so much. How about a hand for our amazing Chamber of Commerce? How fortunate we are to have in a community that is so supportive that everywhere we turn, we find people willing to lean in and help us. Michael, did I hear you say seven months? Yes. Yeah, what a seven months it has been. Thank you very much for your service to Arlington and Arlington Schools. Now, we're here this evening for a very important recognition and one that we are uh, very happy that you are all here. But before we get started, it's important to me that we, I ask that my colleagues please join me on the stage. And I'd also like to have, <laughs> and also um, Mr. Sam Nix, Mary Helen Bert, Burnett, um, Tammy Rogers, um, and our teachers, um, Evelyn Rivera and Nancy McKee, and senior staff, please. I wanted to make sure that as we talk tonight, we talk about the AISD family and the um, work that we do together with our teachers, our classroom teachers, our uh, principals, and we have several principals here representing, and our amazing um, senior staff that supports Dr. Cavazos every single today, day. And my colleagues, I couldn't be uh, more thankful to work with such an amazing team. But we're not here, of course, to recognize all of us. But I know that you would share in uh, recognizing Dr. Cavazos. Uh, some years ago, many of you were in the same room when we sat um, here to um, install Dr. Cavazos as superintendent from interim, interim superintendent. You know, it wasn't that long ago, if you think about it. Dr. Cavazos, how long? Three and a half years. He seems to know exactly, <laughs> <laughs> exactly how long it's been. And, and what is always striking to me, this is the amount of time that is measured in months. And we talked on that evening, and I think you were sitting in almost the same location, right? <laughs> and this must be your seat. <laughs> we, we talked about uh, what could be, what we may do, what the future looked like ahead, honoring um, the a great tradition of history and public education in Arlington, but also looking ahead to see what might be, what could be. And for those of you who work with, along in public school, and I think most of you do, we know sometimes that transition just takes a number of years. What's exciting to me is that it ta we're talking a matter of months, days, weeks, tremendous change, and so when uh, the uh, TASB named Dr. Gavasso Superintendent of the Year, it was no surprise to any of us, right? No. Right. And so we are pleased and honored to get to work with you every day, Dr. Gavasso, and I, what I particularly um, notice and something that always resonates with me with working with Dr. Cavazos, it's always about everybody else. And that's why I wanted to make sure that everybody else is represented in some way up here. We don't have a student, and I didn't want to put Diego and Teresa on the spot. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I, we, we are very um, thankful, and what an honor for our district, but what an honor for our students 
What a great time for Arlington Independent School District, for the city of Arlington, and for our entire community. There is almost unlimited opportunity, and much of that has come at the work of a great leader and a great team, and we're thankful for you all. Thank you. I am here representing all of the principals, and last week we had our moment with Dr. Cavazos, and quite honestly it was special that it was just us and him, and I was so blessed to be there because I think you were really surprised and humbled, and that was so fun to watch. Um, we, it, it was, it was, it was great. We love Dr. Cavazos. I have the best boss. And what's amazing about it is his influence on my leadership affects kids. And it affects our future. And what you have done for all of us um, keeps us here and wanting more and keeps us in a growth mindset to, to keep on going. You, you have led humbly and, and intelligently and more than anything for all the kids. And we have learned from you and we thank you for that. Um, we had a great time spoiling him with a beautiful watch that's engraved. Oh, I'm glad you have it on. Very good. Good job. <laughs> beautiful watch. But we knew that we really needed to honor him in the way that, that he is the most passionate. So at the end of this school year, I'm thrilled to say that Dr. Cavazos will be able to give a $1,500 scholarship donated personally by all the principals to an outgoing senior of his choice. So thank you so much, and thank you. ask uh, Dr. Cavazos just to stay here for a moment. Uh, I'm Cindy Powell. I'm the Chief Financial Officer for the school district. And, and again, thank you so much for coming. This, this means a lot to all of us. Um, Dr. Cavazos, on behalf of the entire senior administration, uh, we say bravo and congratulations. Um, I think that everyone on our staff would join me as I say to you what a privilege it is to join you on this journey uh, to truly transform the lives of so many people in our community. You talk about that all the time, and I know that that is, that is your passion. Um, we um, are very proud to serve with you. Uh, your vision and your leadership truly do make a difference in the lives of, of everyone in our school district, uh, staff, parents, students, and will for many, many years. So I've said before that, um, that you are a visionary. And so I got to thinking today, I thought, you know, I probably ought to look that up if I'm going <laughs> to talk about this. And so I did. I looked it up. And the definition that I found is perfect. It says, a person with original ideas about what the future will or could be like. And, and that truly is fitting of you. And you are a visionary. And um, I think... Um, uh, it inspires all of us. It challenges us. You challenge our thinking. You challenge our, our resources and, <laughs> and our energy. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so in, but in keeping with the spirit of our principles, we could think of no more appropriate, no better way to honor you and your work than to help perpetuate your vision. Uh, so likewise, uh, senior administration will be making a donation uh, for a scholarship that you can likewise award at the end of this year to some very deserving young man or young woman from our schools uh, to perpetuate your vision and touch the lives of others and truly make a difference to others. So thank you very, very much. So, all right. <laughs> I'd like to begin by <clears throat> acknowledging that Arlington you guys, there's, there's 1,034 school districts in the state of Texas. In two years, you have managed to have the top school board and the top superintendent in a state with as many people as, it's amazing.
it literally does not get better than this, folks. Um, to be where he is, he had to go through some incredibly good people, and he is the cream of the cream. So for that, this morning when I was looking at my calendar, I, thought, I noticed at the top of the page it said All Saints Day, and I thought, <laughs> there's some similarities, but we probably won't go there. <clears throat> my name is, as it's been mentioned, is Charles Stafford. I'm the president of the Texas Association of School Boards, and I'm a local board member in Denton. I'm truly pleased to be here this evening to help honor Dr. Cavazos. The awards program was created in 1984 to annually recognize an outstanding Texas superintendent who has demonstrated excellence in the direction of a quality education program in school leadership. Excellence in the role of superintendent is critical to the success of our schools and requires a special blend of skills and talents, possibly sainthood. <laughs> I did notice the, uh, the fund balance joke a little early from the financial officer. I love that. <clears throat> Tantamount to every district's success is the ability the superintendent, of the superintendent to work with the local board in the arena of mutual respect. The ability to communicate, listen, and make hard decisions comes with the territory. But the success of our students will always be of the utmost importance in everything we do. In every decision, a successful team continues to strive for what is best for our kids. This year, Dr. Cavazos was selected from a very distinguished group of administrators to receive the honor. And it's my sincere pleasure today to present the 2016 award to Dr. Cavazos with congratulations on behalf of the entire TASB Board of Directors. The award symbolizes your outstanding accomplishments and excellence in the Texas Public School Administration. We are proud of your achievement and the Arlington Board who stand with you shoulder to shoulder to fight for the future of public education in this state and in our country. Thank you all very much. And congratulations. Thank you so much <clears throat> for, um, for attending tonight. And I know that uh, some had to leave. They had games and things like that. But I sincerely appreciate um, the blessing that I have to lead Arlington ISD. And I truly uh, am humbled by this recognition. And if you, know, if you know me and you know me well, you know that this is the last thing I like doing, is talking about myself or all this kind of stuff. But I also know that this is something that we share together, uh, that this is something that we accomplish together. Uh, we have over 8,000 employees in our school district, and every day they provide service and they provide love for our students. And it is a humbling opportunity that I have to lead a school district with so many people committed to serving our young people and to making sure that our future is something that we're all proud of and that we can all enjoy. And so I take a, a moment here to recognize my family. And when I do, I usually do it very fast. So I'm going to try to slow down so you actually get to hear what I say. But I'll start with my wife, uh, who uh, is the support and, and really the, the foundation of our family uh, and, and of me, uh, Nora. And my daughter. Uh, who is an eighth grader, a proud eighth grader, yeah, whose principal is here. Uh, so, Teresa. And a young man who's in fourth grade uh, and attends Key Elementary, my son, Diego. So much of my inspiration uh, I get from my family. And I get from, uh, from their love and their support and their understanding and their patience. Um, and and I've been, through this process, I've been able to tell my story a little bit more and, and publish and things like that. And, and I reflected on, on my mom, 
my mother who provided such a strong foundation for our family. And, uh, you know, she, she passed many years ago, uh, but the, the foundation that she put in each one of us uh, was just truly amazing. And, and the beneficiaries are not just me, uh, but it's all our students and our staff in AISD because it's with that love and commitment that I do, I do the work that I do. And, and so tonight we had, I don't know if everybody's they're still here, but we had custodians here, uh, food services, uh, transportation, teachers, I mean, you, you name it, uh, individuals here, principals, et cetera, community members. And, and that love that you show for the school district and, and for me, uh, I just challenge you to show it to our students and our young people. That's the best demonstration of our work together. And, and I said today, and I've said it before, uh, that education is our great equalizer. And, and it has done, broken a cycle of poverty and all kinds of other things in our family. And, and I, I am a firm believer that education is a pathway to peace in our country and peace around the world. When people are educated, when people have opportunities, when they feel inspired, when they have a future orientation, that they make this world a better place. And so it's with that uh, deliberation that I do my, my job every single day. And as complex as the superintendency is, uh, and so when Jamie asked how many years, I was, yes it is, you kind of make sure how many years you've served, right? Uh, it is truly a passion for me. And, and because of the work that is done every day in the classrooms and in our buildings and in our central office and the people that work around and in this district, is just simply amazing. And we have some of the most dedicated individuals that have an outpouring of love every day and have absolutely no need for recognition and things like that. They just do their work. And, and I'm so proud and humbled uh, to serve as a superintendent. And I thank you uh, for attending. I know it's a busy time of year and, and I really sincerely uh, thank you for attending. Uh, I have to recognize my church family uh, that pray, we pray together, they pray for me, which I thank you and I appreciate it, and I pray for them. And this is, this is part of our support system in our, uh, in our family, and, and you mean so much to me. Uh, I know we see each other every week, and, and sometimes you give me a hard time, uh, but, <laughs> but we can, in peace, right, uh, worship and and, and have a great time, so, so thank you for, for coming, and, and I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, some good friends, Christy and Thelma, thank you for, and Tiger, where's Tiger? I don't wanna leave him out. Yeah, uh, thank you for, for, uh, for coming tonight, and Suzanne, where's Suzanne? Suzanne, yes, thank you. Um, and I, I just sincerely appreciate it, uh, because this is the work that we do together. Uh, this is not about one person, it never has been, and, and it won't be, uh, but uh, tonight, it's, it's with great love, and humbleness that, that I uh, am blessed to serve and I continue to serve and I thank, thank the school board for that opportunity as well. So thank you. <laughs>